Hope you're on time. It's about 10 minutes to the top of the hour. Some students across the state of Texas will be greeted with this message as they arrive on campus. In God we trust. The national motto for the United States was created by an act of Congress back in 1956. Today we see it displayed in federal buildings. Our U.S. currency has In God We Trust printed on it. You see license plates, of course, with it. And now a new Texas law allows groups to put those words on signs on public schools campuses, which has, of course, sparked controversy. Separation of church and state, of course, a conversation. Texas House Representative Tom Oliverson is joining me right now. He co-authored the bill. Thank you so much for being with us on Morning in America. You say the statement, in God we trust, is broad and nonspecific. But for some who might say it's a breach of the separation of church and state, how do you defend this? So I, I appreciate the chance to be on your show today. I would say a couple of things. Number one, uh, the court system has looked at this. The Supreme Court has looked at this. Um, and the national motto is a, a, a very patriotic statement. It meshes well with other practices and observances that we see in, in every public school, things that kids would be familiar with, like saying the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, it also has a significant historical and cultural significance uh, in our country. Uh, belief in higher power essentially is what grants us inalienable rights. That's referenced in the Declaration of Independence. Um, and, you know, so again, we, we felt like this was something that uh, has been looked at repeatedly. Uh, Texas law already allowed for it to be placed. Uh, and what we did is simply say, look, if someone's going to go through the trouble of donating it to the school, then you have to put it up. Now, let's talk a little bit about uh, the, the people taking the time to donate it to the school. So if somebody was to s donate a sign, for example, by private funds, that mm -hmm. would be ha that would have to now be mandatory for the school to accept that if it says in God we trust. What do you think about those people who think that private contributions like this that might be overreaching or overbearing to those who don't believe in God, that this is controversial? Well, I would just say that I think, I don't, I don't, I guess I don't see the connection with the fact that it's being donated privately. I think that the fact that, I mean, people donate things all the time. People donate books to schools. Um, and so the fact that there is a wide variety of groups that are able to donate these signs, uh, the sign itself is a fairly standardized format. Uh, it actually says very prescriptively in the law what it has to contain. It has to contain the statement in God we trust, the national motto. It has to have a depiction of the American flag, the Texas flag, and it can't have anything else. Uh, and it is specifically generic in that way to prevent there from being a reference or an endorsement to any particular religious belief or religious tradition. And I think that what we're going to end up seeing uh, when we look back on this is that the folks that end up donating this uh, two schools are, come from a variety of backgrounds, a variety of cultures, a variety of religious traditions, and I think very accurately reflects the diversity that we have in this country with respect to faith and faith traditions. One more question for you. Six other states have passed similar laws. Texas is not mm -hmm. the only one uh, saying that you can use that national motto in God we trust and, and have it be present on public school campuses. We have a map here showing all the states that have agreed to this. What's been the response uh, by both Democrats and Republicans? I would say generally uh, it's been very positive. I think people were excited. Well, I, I would say, well, two things. I'd say one, it was interesting that we, this law actually passed and became effective in September of last year. Uh, and people have, have sort of suddenly caught on to the idea that, that if they donate, <clears throat> if they're going to volunteer that to the school, then it has to be put up. And so it's kind of uh, suddenly caught on here, uh, which was kind of interesting. It wasn't really an issue when it passed. Nobody was overly concerned about it. It passed the Senate unanimously. Uh, it passed the House uh, overwhelmingly. Two-thirds majority in the House voted for this. Uh, as you point out, it's literally on uh, the dais, not only in our uh, our Congress inside the House of Representatives, but also in Texas, uh, it is above the speaker's desk as well. And so I think the response overwhelmingly has been very positive. Um, and I've been surprised and very pleased that there's been a diverse group of folks that have wanted to donate these signs. This is not something where I think it's one particular religious group that's sort of driving this. This has sort of been uh, a um, 
a desire on the part of a wide variety of, of groups, uh, some not religious at all, some have no faith connection really, that see this as a historical, patriotic, and an educational thing, and they're excited to bring it to the schools. I think it's a very positive message. I can't but think that only positive things are going to come from having this in the school, um, and uh, so I'm excited about it. And again, this is the United States national motto uh, passed by an act of Congress back in 1956. A good little history lesson there. Uh, thank you so much, Texas House Representative Tom Oliverson, for being with us. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.